Hi, I'm Brian Lamb, the General Manager of Irvine Meadow. The idea behind this documentary was to mark our 125th anniversary as a club. And it came about with big thanks to people like Gordon McCreth, who has been collecting and curating archive photographs, articles and memorabilia for years. As a club, we are grateful to receive funding from the National Lottery Heritage Fund to create a series of five films and in partnership with the Ayrshire Film Company. Each film covers the 25 years and details the club's highs and lows and recognises the amazing history of Irvine Meadow. So sit back and enjoy and here's to another 125 years. Hi, this is Eddie Gemmell, former keeper for Irvine Meadow, and this is Meadow Park. Right here is the home of Irvine Meadow. As you walk through the entrance here, and you look into the pitch, you can see this stadium here is steeped in the history of junior football. And then over the past 125 years, this team has been here, providing the community with great football. And as I stand here in the famous football pitch, fans and football players alike have come onto this stadium over the past 125 years. And believe it or not, tonight is the very last home game of the 125 years as they play Clyde Bank in the West of Scotland Football League. So we're going to speak to the fans, ask the fans to tell us the story of Irvine Meadow over the 125 years. In this first episode is going to tell the story of where Irvine Meadow came from, where it was born right through until the First World War. This is Irvine Moor. It's quiet now, but on a Saturday afternoon in Queen Victoria's reign, this would have been full of young men shouting and the sound of boot against ball. The relatively new sport of football had really caught on, and round the town, little football clubs had started springing up. One of these local clubs was called Hill Rangers, and they took their name from Hill Street and that was because that's where most of them lived. A juvenile club, the players could be aged into their twenties, not like today's juveniles who are kids. They were contenders for the championship of the Moor, which had a reasonable amount of uh, clubs competing, and a lot of them came and went, like Wellington and Irvine Roslyn. Then in 1895, a number of players left Hill Rangers and formed a new club, but they needed a name. Irvine Meadows' first match was played here at Meadow Park on 21st September 1895, when they lost 2-1 against Overton Thistle Reserves. There wasn't a juvenile league at that time, so it was friendlies and cup ties that they played, and they did quite well to reach the semi-finals of the two cups they played. The next season was better though, as Meadow went through that, that one, winning 28 of the 30 games and drawing another two, winning two cups and the new Irvine and District League in the process. Irvine Celtic had been struggling for quite some time financially. Eventually, in December of 1895, they went into liquidation and disappeared, leaving Meadow as the only team using Meadow Park. Now we know how the club was formed, now it's time for the fans to tell us all about those early years after being set up. Formed 1897 as Irvin Meadow 11 Juniors. There was no league, so Irvin Meadow only played in cup competition, reaching the final of the Irvin and District Cup losing 3-0 to Dreghorn. Both John and William Couser played successfully for a few seasons with the Meadow. John was born in a dwelling house at 162 High Street, now the defunct Crown Inn. He was reputed to be 
a prolific goal scorer and left Irvine for London to work as a carpenter and return to Irvine later. That was the start of my family connection with Meadow, as my dad, Jimmy Couser, was a committed man for a few years and played for the team when short of players. My mum, Mary, helped out at the turnstiles and serving snacks to the crowd. Then I married Robert Smallwood, who played with the medal in 64-65. Both of us are season ticket holders and continue the connection. My ties with the Irvine Medal go back to 1898-99, when my great-uncle David McDougall played with the medal. Only for the one season, when he helped him win the Ayrshire Cup before signing for Glasgow Rangers. 1898-99. No organised leagues, only cups. When Meadow changed from juvenile to junior, they changed their colours from light blue to royal blue. Meadow's first season as juniors saw them reach the Irvine and District Cup final in 1898. However, Dreghorn won that final 3 0. In 1898 99, Meadow got a taste for winning trophies when they won two of them. 1899 1900, Winners of the Irvine and District Cup beat Darvel 2-1 at Riverside Park in Gosden. 1900-1901 won the Ayrshire Cup beating Drongan 1-0, lost in the final of the Irvine and District Cup 2-1 to Stuart and Juniors. 1901-1902 Meadows' worst season to date tried local juveniles. 1902-1903 joined Ayrshire Junior League at a fee of five shillings. 1903-04, won the Ayrshire Cup, beating Ardeer Thistle 2-1 after a replay at Rugby Park. After the first final was abandoned due to rain, and the rearranged final was drawn one each. Beaten in the finals of Irvine and Districts and Irvine Herald Cups. 1904-1905, New Junior League was formed comprising of Colwyn Rangers, Cumberland East Side, Vale of Carnock, Ardjith Thistle, Adross and Winton Rovers, Adross and Celtic, Avery Victoria and Avery Meadow 11. 1907, the SGFA AGM installed, insisted, I beg your pardon, that all junior players must sign a junior form and so for the first time juniors were deemed professional. 1908, Meadow Park was closed, or Meadow Park was closed for a month due to spectators encroaching on the field during a cup tie versing versus co-winning Rangers. And in 1909, a new wooden pavilion was erected on the halfway line between the pitch and the Caledonian railway line, which is over the other side of Meadow Park. 1912-13 turned out to be a very poor year for Meadow, both on and off the park financially. 1912-13, Air United Juniors and Dreghorn Juniors admitted to the league. In those early days, Irvine Meadow had already started to be a very successful club within the local football scene. But then all football stopped as the country entered World War I. 1914, the declaration of war against Germany made things very difficult to continue with players joining HM forces. 1914-15, winners Irvine District Cup, Irvine Herald Cup and Ayrshire Consolation Cup. Many clubs closed down due to the, the war. However, Urban Meadow XI managed to get enough players to win the Ayrshire Nation Cup, beating Hill Athletic 2 0 at Rugby Park. 1919 to 1920, war has ended. Jim Mitchell took over his post of club secretary and the committee agreed to start up again. The club had no money, so subscription sheets were circulated around the town to raise funds. A new handrail was erected around the park. Changing facilities had been severely damaged and were removed to Jay Parker's joiner shop in East Road where teams now changed for games. And when the war ended, Football soon returned, but unfortunately, a number of clubs disappeared. 
clubs like the Vale of Garnock are dressing Celtic and believe it or not, Air United Juniors. The 1920 new league was set up, the Western League. In it was Irvine Meadow 11, Cowinning Rangers, Paisley Vulcan, Cowinning Eggleton, Salkots Victoria, Glengarnock Vale, Stevenson United, Adross and Linton Rovers, Cabernet Rayside, Nielsen Victoria, Glenburn Rovers, Kilbarkin Athletic, Renfrew Juniors and Dreghorn Juniors. In season 1921-22, an application was submitted to erect a brick building and subscription seats, sheets were sent around the town to help finance the scheme. On 17th of December 1921, the new pavilion was opened by Provost Muir. 1921-1922 League Champions, a good way to finish our first 25 years of winning our first Junior Championship. In 1922, the first Mums Derby, both sides lined up 2-3-5, Evan Meadow won, fixed two. In this period after the war was crucial to the club for its survival. We were struggling for finances and didn't have a place to get changed. The club saw a lot of support for the community and the community rallied round. And the club repaid their fans by becoming Western League champions and they reached the Nearshire Cup final. We have now reached the end of the club's first 25 years and sometimes it was a tough journey for the club. But it's nice to end in a positive by being league champions. So join me in part two when we will be taking a look at Urban Meadow in the next 25 years from 1922 all the way to 1947. And thank you for watching and most importantly thank you for supporting the club.